Hey guys, Chaos Review here's another review. This time I'll be reviewing the RCF Kamen Rider Tycoon and Kamen Rider Buffa Ninja and Zombie Form set from Kamen Rider Geats. This is our next Revolve Chain figure set featuring the Ninja Form and Zombie Form bodies as well as the parts and weapons for Kamen Rider Tycoon and Kamen Rider Buffa. So, let's get started. For our first combination, we'll be using the bodies with the Tycoon parts, as well as the Ninja Dueler. So, we'll leave the Ninja body as is for the upper half, but for the Zombie Mai, we'll make it into the lower legs. So, I'm going to pull back the head here, bring down the arms to come to legs, Rotate at the thighs. Move this to here for this leg. Rotate at this. Actually, we want to do something similar with this side. There we have the legs. I'll connect it there and to the back. Pull down the head. We'll attach the uh, Tycoon Bandage. To the right hip. Or rather, right thigh. Attach on the head. And here we have coming our Tycoon. Ninja zombie form. So we can see how the match tasks to the head with the nice metallic pink eyes. I love the nice details here that really bring together the whole ninja aesthetics. And you have the zombie legs right down there. And for the weapon, we have the ninja dueler done up in all lime green. She has a lot of nice details to it. And can actually be split to switch from single blade to dual blade mode. Now we can have them holstered on the side. Using these pegs here. You can of course have him holding them. His hands like so. Or connect them together and have them using it in single blade mode. Just like that. And from there we can then switch him into Buffa by simply taking off the bandage and the mask. Then putting on the side skirt right here. as well as the new mask. And now we have Kamen Rider Buffa Ninja Zombie form. You can see Buffa's head there with the lower half of the ninja body. And then the side skirt adds his own personal flair to the figure.
Next, we can do a revolve change. So, we'll start off by removing the mask and side cape. Then, we will unhinge both heads, take out the buffer head, and, or rather, take out the zombie head and put away the ninja head. Then, rotate it around and bring the arms down to come to the legs. From there, take this piece and move it down like this. Take the set of gears and move it out like, like that. Move these pieces out to the side. Take these pieces to the side and fold down the feet. Then we'll come up to the torso, bring together these to the chest, bring down the arms, and fold things into place. And connect the heads in the back. Finally, we'll attach the uh, side cape, as well as the helmet. And here we have a Kamen Rider Buffa, zombie ninja form. So now we can probably see Buffa with the zombie body. We can see it does match up quite nicely with the nice orange eyes there. Sometimes these masks will pop off, so you have to be careful. You can see the kind of rib cage like chest here. Nice spiky shoulders and the arms, and a very large zombie claw, as well as this kind of poison container here. And we have the ninja legs down there. Then you can bring in the zombie breaker. That been all purple. Love nice details. The one odd detail is that it's permanently with the slider pulled up rather than having it in the down position. But you can have the holster on the side. Or take it and put it in either of his hands. Just like that. Although it seems I don't quite have the fear all together, so let me just properly get that fixed. This is a little bit tricky. But there we go, that's better. There we go, here him with his weapon. Then we can quite easily change him into Tycoon by taking off the accessory and mask and switching on these ones. So now we have Kamen Rider Tycoon zombie ninja form. We can see the mix of the different mask with the eyes as well as the bandage here on the legs. And it's simply cool that you can very easily change between riders simply by changing out a couple of parts. After that, we can combine Tycoon with the entry form body. So we'll simply attach this down here, tank this up there, and that's bandage. And now we have coming our Tycoon ninja form. So now we can see just the whole ninja body with the plain entry legs. 
And of course, you can still make use of the Ninja Dueler. But from there, we can also change things up and switch out the entry body. For the boost body, and there we have Counter Tycoon Ninja Boost form. And of course, from here we can revolve change. So the price is the same as before. And while it might seem tricky to some, it actually is pretty intuitive with how the idea is to simply convert the arms to the legs and the legs to the arms. It follows a lot of the same steps like moving out the chest to come the th hips and rotating around the lower legs as well as of course bringing the hands and the legs and the legs into the hands. That all works out pretty easily. This I'm going to make sure that both of the parts are connected in the back. Hmm. And here we have Tycoon Boost Ninja Form. Then we can combine buffer with the entry body. Simple as that. So now we have a common buffer zombie form. Where we can just you know, appreciate the simpleness or just simply appreciate zombie form without having the ninja body down here. Of course you can still equip. The zombie breaker. Or we can change things up. And switch in the boost body. So now we have buffer zombie boost form. And this time with a quick cut, we then have Buffa Boost Zombie Form. Definitely a cool combination, and we did kind of see something similar to this in the show, in fact. Next, we'll show off a little bit more of the mix and match combinations, so I've put together some forms here. Those being Tycoon Magnum Form. Geats, Zombie Boost Form, and Buffa Ninja Form. And then we can just as easily switch which riders they are. So we can kind of move these by uh, shifting them over. So now this is Tycoon.
This is Geats. And this is Buffer. Definitely something quite cool about this series. And finally, I know this is going to be a long video, but as just one last thing I want to show off, the entry forms for these two using the full entry body. So if we attach these two pieces, we get Tycoon entry form. And we switch in these two pieces. we get Buffa entry form. And there we go! Overall, the set is a great addition to the Revolve Change Figure series, since not only do we get access to two new forms, but also parts for two new riders, and that just adds to the mix and match compatibility of all these different figures. As you can see here, since I have two of the entry buys, I'm able to make both riders separately. But, even if you just have one, that allows you to exponentially increase the playability as well if you have the Geet set of course as I showed you can mix and match different forms and the way this series has been lined up is that they spread out the releases well enough so that you don't have to worry about these kind of prices figure sets coming out in rapid succession so you know if you're following along with the series you should be able to pick these up pretty easily and really the more you have the more you can do with these figures not to mention the fact that we have you know, this incredibly high level of articulation despite the gimmick. So, this is definitely a fear series I'd recommend following along with. One thing to note, though, is that there will be some premium Bondi releases to keep an eye on. So, not everything is going to be at retail, but they are definitely putting in a lot of effort into this series, more so than they've done for a lot of the recent standard fear series. If you're looking for some good figures for the two riders that you can use with other figures, I can never recommend picking up this set. Next time I'll be taking a look at the Deluxe Powered Builder Buckle and Gigant Buckle set. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRS50, riding off.